the majority of the classes will be in the modern period, I would say 18th, 19th, 20th century, now early 21st century. But we also do think it's important that they have some foundation. So in the first years, they do general survey courses, which cover everything from the origins of humankind right through to the early modern period. Um, in their second and third years, that's when they begin to specialize more in certain themes or approaches. So they can do history by nation state, they can look at the history of China, the history of Japan, the history of the United States or Britain, etc. But they can also do it thematically and see how these things link up. So they can do um, history of propaganda, history of fascism, history of empire. Uh, they can look at the Enlightenment. And we also look at history which is regional, so they could do a history, say, of Eastern Europe or of Europe. Um, and then, in addition to that, they also learn to be critical in their studies. So they'll do a class on historiography, which teaches them essentially uh, to look at sources and to look at them critically, and to look at other opinions and try to get a best balance and make a, a rational judgment. The highlight of the time at Richmond is the senior essay. It's an extensive dissertation where they apply all the knowledge they've learned, all the skills they've learned, and they apply it to a topic which they're really interested in and do a, a paper on that topic, which they, they present orally. So there's a, a rational progress from year one all the way through to specialization in year four. Whether you're studying British history, American history, African history, Asian history, London has the resources and the archives which are pretty much unparalleled anywhere. It's got visual resources at the National Academy, National Art Gallery, at the National Portrait Gallery. It has the physical material archives at the British Museum or, um, or the Maritime Museum. So for that reason alone, London is, is probably one of the best places in the world which you can study history. The British system is very good, but I do think that at 17, 18, it's too early for you to decide what your major is going to be and to specialize in one thing. So what attracts me about the liberal arts is the fact that students come here doing what they like, but at the same time, they're required to do something outside their area of specialism. So if you're a history major, you have to take a course, courses in science or languages or politics. And I think that makes you a much better rounded individual and also it allows you some flexibility to develop minor programs. So you can actually combine some of your interests. If you're interested in art history, you can still do a history major. If you're interested in, um, in politics, you can combine that with your history. That's what makes it exciting, less specialized. And so when you graduate, you have that, that wider background to draw on when you're looking for work. And I think it also makes your work more exciting. If you're doing something history related and you have a background in politics or art history or IR or language, then you can use this as a, as a, as a baseboard or a foundation from which to explore your history. Uh, furthermore, I think what makes Richmond unique is that our classes aren't just about teaching British history or European history or US history. They're very th thematic and comparative. So if they're doing a class on fascism, they'll learn about Germany and Italy, but they'll also learn about South America or Iraq and the variants of fascism there. If they're doing empire, they'll talk about the British Empire and the European Empire. But, you know, we'll go to the British Museum to see the Assyrian or Egyptian collections. Or we'll be learning about non-Western versions of empire, the Ottoman Empire, the Mughal Empire, non-Islamic um, ones. So that's what I think makes us different. We, we practice what we, we, we preach. We're very international, we're very comparative. And what also makes us different is having London as a resource.